It's like a vintage Geisler kit, that one. It is a little bit, isn't it? I was never too keen when we had it, but anyway, the game gets underway. And uh, just thinking back to the reverse fixture, actually, uh, earlier in the season, it was uh, it was Paul Phillips' last game in charge, wasn't it? It was, uh, I think, Callum Murphy and Tom Pratt scored in a really good 2-0 away win. I think we're all a little bit surprised that that was, the, uh, that, that was Paul Phillips' final game in charge. A couple of games ago, he scored from this position. Ball goes in. It's towards, oh, it was towards Walker. And it, oh, it meets, I think, Callum Murphy at the back post, but he can't direct his header. And it goes out for a Bamber Bridge goal kick. Comes over halfway, tries to switch it to wide right over to Afuye. And Afuye's going to get there. It's a great ball by Reese Kendall. Afuye, he's down by the corner flag, looking to take, in, take on Dodd. Still Afuye. Goes one way, then the other. Still Afuye. Cross comes into the area. It's very deep. It's towards Murphy. Oh, and Murphy does get ahead on it. But it uh, goes out for a, a guy's the corner, actually. Takes a nick on the way through. And uh, that's great work by Michael Afuye. Encouraging start. And Walker wins it back off Cullen, and it's a ball in behind, and Afi is breaking into the area here. Far right-hand side comes into the area, it's still Afi here, cuts in onto his left, and back onto his right, cross comes in, oh, it's parried away by Hunt, but it's still in the area. And eventually, Bamber Bridge clear it up the field. Eibel steps in, though. Strom. Strom's pass is loose and it's straight to Lee Whelan. And now it's Callum Murphy and guys looking break away now. Murphy, it's a passing behind for Afuye and Afuye is going to get there. Afuye comes into the area. Right footed. Oh, Gabriel Johnson nearly gets a nick on it to poke it goalwards but doesn't quite. And Afuye's cross is well gathered by Hunt. But uh, Geisley win the throw in. Murphy takes quickly into Johnson, who drops the shoulder, comes in field and gives it to Kendall. Kendall comes forward, he's shaping to shoot. Reese Kendall takes the shot. Oh my god, what a goal, Reese Kendall. That is ridiculous. Reese Kendall, left footed, absolutely sailed into the top right hand corner, and he's getting absolutely oh mocked by his teammates. And oh can you blame them? Reese Kendall, take a bow. Oh my god, that was fantastic. I mean, it started with a bad moment for Bamba Bridge there. Took the throw in, no communication. It trickles out for a guy's throw. Throw finds itself at the feet of Reese Kendall eventually. And I saw him look towards the goal and I thought, surely not. And then he just pulls a beauty out. Afiye just ducks under it a little bit, lets it roll. He's going to keep it in play. Cuts inside onto his left foot. Afiye cross comes in. Oh, and it was towards and Saka at the back post, but it's just over. That was a dangerous moment, but now guys that can come forward as Bamba Bridge look to get back in a position. Reese Kendall breaks forward. There's cries of shoot. Reese Kendall still has it. Reese Kendall does shoot. Oh, and it just rattles the side netting. But Reese Kendall nearly grabbed his second of the game. There's clearly a man in confidence, and, and why wouldn't he be? Just wide goal kick. I mean, I'm never going to complain uh, from our side of it, but from a Bamba Bridge perspective, you've got a player who scored a wonder strike. He's come forward three or four times to ping the ball, and you're not pressing him. Reese Kendall's got all kinds of space to shoot. Brown takes the throw in quickly, he's looking for Johnson, Johnson goes to ground but it drops to Murphy, Murphy breaks into the area, still Murphy, cross comes in, it's Callum Murphy, oh and it's just across the face of goal, it took a deflection, but guys they're still pressing Bamba Bridge high up the pitch but eventually they clear the lines, staying back marking Cullen, cross comes in from Afuye, it's up towards Kendall, Kendall gets ahead on it and Gabriel Johnson heads against the post and it's gathered by Hunt, great chance for Geisley to double the lead. Long ball forward now. Murphy's chasing after it, but Sinclair's going to get there. Sinclair's pass back to his keepers. Loose and Callum Murphy charges down the loose ball. Oh. And it deflects off him, which doesn't go goalwards. But Murphy catches up on his own loose ball. Gives it to Nsaka, and Saka comes into the area. It's still in Saka. Goes back to Kendall. Kendall cross comes into the area. It's high, it's looping, and it's going to be gathered by Hunt, and it is. And it's a good take from Hunt, to be fair. Brown throw down the line into Afiye. And with that, the referee... Brings us close to the first half. So it is Geisley 1, Bamba Bridge 0. No. And I will just bring Tom Feeney in for, for his thoughts, actually, on, on what's been a really entertaining first half of football. In the day, Liam Tung's not a bad player to bring on. Obviously, it means that you have to do a bit of a tactical shift because he's not a centre-forward in himself, but he's a fantastic player to bring into any side. Yeah, bringing on your, your club captain isn't, uh, isn't bad by any means. So, game gets underway, but immediately, ball goes out of play for a Bamba throw. Sinclair searching pass forward, but it's picked out by Ekpolo. Little one-two with Tung, Ekpolo carries forward, he's got Afuye up with him. Ekpolo goes past one, gives it to Afuye. Oh, but the final pass just is a little bit too much on it, and it's cleared away for a Geisley throw. Good pass infield to Brown. 
He gives it to Afayir. Now Geisley in a good area. Afayir cuts inside onto his left foot. Afayir takes the shot left foot oh. and it rattles the crossbar and goes over. That's a great effort by Michael Afuye. And uh, well, really deserves a goal at the end of it. Kind of like his deliveries have been. It was looping and Hunt under it was really not comfortable in the uh, Bamba Bridge goal. And what a way to round off a, a good performance on your debut that would have been. Baxter, now it's Scarborough at ball. Now it's a pass out wide to Churchman. Churchman cross comes in. Oh, and it's only just over the crossbar. It looked like a cross was going to come in from Chris Churchman. But he uh, really caught hold of the effort and it didn't go far over the crossbar. Geisley. Hit the board. <laughs> Winning the ball back high up the pitch. Now it's Murphy. He's gotten Saka with him. Murphy takes it down the line. Cross comes into the area. Oh, it's towards Afui. Oh, but he just can't quite get there. Only as far as Lee Whelan. Whelan takes a touch, takes the shot, and it's uh, a deflection, takes all the sting out of it, and it's well gathered by Hunt. It, it was that's it was incredible. Callum Murphy has kept the ball in play. Sorry, it looked like it was going to go out, but Forbes wins it off Murphy right by the corner flag. Chip down the line. Walker heads it back forward. And Ekpolo gives it to Kofi Moore now Moore fancies a run at the defence cross goes into the area from Moore and it's a good delivery from Kofi Moore but and Saka can't quite get there and it rolls out for a Bamba Bridge throw on the far side comes forward now he's going to give it to Saka down the left and he does and that's a really good pass from Lee Whelan good three ball and Saka cross comes into the area oh and it was towards Callan Murphy he was stretching but just couldn't quite get a toe on it to direct it goalwards cross comes in it's towards oh it's towards and the ball's headed in at the back post by Adrian Walker Hunt came for it and spilled when he came for the cross and Aidan Walker was lurking at the back post to head home and make the score on nine, uh, 89 minutes Geisley 2 Bamba Bridge 0 what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> this lead uh, £5 entry and £100 to be won so please the more the merrier please do join now Bamba Bridge come forward it's into the feet of Scarborough looks to scoop it through only if I was a do before but it's well blocked by Brown oh and it's a good save by Battersby it was uh, it was bold with a right footed effort it was bending into the bottom corner but Battersby was there to pound palm it away and protect his clean sheet yeah he got down really quickly there his throw is taken and it's uh, met by Edwards maybe one last roll of the dice for Bamba Bridge it's Churchman again Credit to them because they're still Scarborough. going. Yeah, they kept going, haven't they? And I really think they come to they come to win today. Though uh, not a bad side at all. Cross comes in from uh, I think it was Scarborough, but didn't really get hold of his effort. And I think the referee Luke. will call it a day. So it's finished here at Nethermore. Guys, lead two, Bamba Bridge nil. The Lions were set well on their way, courtesy of uh, courtesy of Reece Kendall Thunderbolt. And uh, with a minute to go, Aidan Walker added and put a little bit of gloss on the score line to make it two nil. And I believe I will now hand over to uh, Tom Feeney, who will uh, give us a little bit of uh, well, his thoughts. Tom? Yeah, well, thank you. And yes, 20, well, a week ago, I think things felt a little bit more negative than that today. Geisley gaining the 2-0 victory against Bemba Bridge. A really good performance. Reese Kendall with a wonder goal. You're going to have to check that out on YouTube when the highlights are put out. And then Aidan Walker, they all count. Three yards out, free header. Geisley getting the three points and in the MPL Premier playoff places. There are teams below that have got games in hand. There are some games that will uh, be rather crucial for Geisley in the next couple of weeks. Whitby Town on Tuesday night will be the start of that. So Geisley in the playoff places. That's how we like it. Andy Welsh wanted a reaction. He made five changes. He got exactly that it is Geisley then who gain all three points a 2-0 win here at Nevermore Park against Bamber Bridge and after two disappointing results against uh, Mask and Gainsborough it was a really welcome re result today and what's your verdict on the performance? I think from the first half performance it was well deserved because we created a lot of chances first half I think we ended up having 13 shots you know seven shots on target and really worked our keeper um, so yeah, like, like you say, no one likes losing and, and it's been, for, for me, for the players, for, for our staff, it's been, it's been a tough week, week. Um, so we, we've, we've needed to kind of, you know, say a few on truths of where we want to get to uh, this year because if, if, if we continue being, I thought we were just lethargic last week, uh, you know, a little bit due to the fact that games we didn't come out and really play. Uh, but it was just disappointing. We had five chances last week that, when we look back, that 
you take them, I think we, we win the game comfortably. Obviously, we had the penalty miss, and today it was important. We took chances, and I know we've only took two, but like you say, it's welcome because we've created that many first half. And it, it was very striking in the first half in particular that it was a really high-energy performance. Have you, have, you, have you looked at the GPS stats yet? Because <laughs> it's doing a lot of running. <laughs> oh, well, I, I, yeah, you know, we looked at it last week, and, 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 and I think one thing that we've got to recognise is you know certain players will fit certain systems in certain games and you know we can single out individuals but I thought Callum Murphy's performance today was outstanding um, obviously him and Gabs uh, and Mikey and Jordy gave us that high energy at the top end uh, and I thought Lee Whelan coming back in um, you know he gave us a real good energy in the centre of the park with Prince as well uh, but it took a squad to win that game today. Obviously, we had to bring Tongi in at half time because uh, Gab's, uh, you know, pulled up a little bit, and you know that's that's what it's going to take. And like I said, I think everybody's got to recognise sometimes things might not go our way, um, but we will choose certain players for certain games. We'll try and get consistency. But today had to be high energy. We had to make sure we were in their faces from the first second. Obviously, you had to change things around the um, second half, as you said, with Gable going off, um, Liam Tong coming on. How did you change it formation-wise? Because I've, I've not finished my level one coaching yet, so I, don't, <laughs> so I couldn't read it. Uh, no, we just, we, we kind of stayed the same. I, I, I've got, I, I have to be honest as well, you know, Bamba Bridge are a fantastic side. Mm-hmm. You know, they got to the playoff final last mm-hmm. year, you know, speaking with... Um, Jamie Milligan then said to Wilsey and I know they've lost the game and they might not feel like it but I thought you know our pitch is cutting up and it's getting bobbly now but they played some outstanding football and fair play to them um, because they didn't make it easy and it was a tough game today but <coughs> excuse me um, but again we look at stuff and Ollie's really only had one well he's had one save to make and, um, and I think we're getting consistency in that as well of defensive displays as, as well as you know today matching up with scoring goals. Cause, yeah, because you, you can say in the second half they certainly enjoyed a lot of possession, but we seemed to defend well enough to keep them at arm's length. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what we noticed first half as much as we had created a lot of opportunity. Listen, the game should have been out of sight in my opinion first half. I thought Mikey had their left back on toast. Um, you know he's, he's made the keeper made a couple of saves. Uh, I think. Uh, was it Aidan Walker from the corners had a header or Reese Kendall's had a header that keeper I don't know how he saved it um, you know we've had a, yeah uh, Gab's got through in the box and he's had a shot and it's just literally deflected wide so it should have been out of sight if we're honest but you know Bamba have real good rotations in there I think they were struggling you know we saw that they'd made a few changes today and um, you know it was really important that we make, made sure that we capitalised on that because you know the, the the rotations that they had in the centre of the park, uh, as well as the two up front, could have really hurt us. But it was important that the lads listened to the game plan, not just from the first half, but from half time onwards on on what we wanted to do. And you know we wanted their centre half to have it, um, and we we expected them to to hurt us at times, but in a controlled manner. So that if we did win it back, we we, we could try and capitalise on it. It was interesting. Um two contrasting goals in a way they both count the same I know but Reese's was a worldie uh, Aiden's was a bit of a fluke really because the keeper dropped it didn't he but, uh, <laughs> yeah well I, you know it's a, in terms of scruffy goals it's about time we started getting a couple of scruffy goals because you know you think back to last week Aiden Walker's had a header and the keeper's made a great save down yeah. down to his right and you know all them ones seem to just be creeping the other side of the yeah. post for us. so I, I think we deserve that little bit of luck and I, actually, the other thing I noticed was in, was in the first half, um, Callum Murphy closed down the keeper, got the rebound, which could have gone in. It's yeah. the second time he's done that. You know, yeah. It's a real testament to the effort he puts in, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, <coughs> excuse me, I think it, it is, is, he, he set the tone for us today. Um, but I know there's more to come from Callum, and, and, and at times we just want him to focus a little bit more in training and and stuff like that because I think he's got a hell of a talent and I think he could really push his, his career on if he you know if if we can get a little bit more focus out of him at times because I thought you know today um, he ran there two centre halves into the ground and created chaos. And um, can you tell us 
a bit about Michael Ifua. It's the first time I've seen him today. Yeah. Obviously, he's quite an exciting player to watch. Yeah, well, um, I, you know, Abs was only going to be a short term thing for mm. us because he goes out to Sweden soon. Um, mm. So we've been chasing Mikey for a while. He's someone that came on my radar at Berry last year. Um, he's got outstanding talent. Um, you know, can go both ways. And, and you saw today, I mean, he's not fit because um, he's not played a lot recently at Rochdale. Um, but, you know, he has been playing in the, in the National League. So we, we'd be expecting him to come and make an impact, which I thought he did today. I mean, when he, you know, some of the stuff he did first half deserved a goal, and then obviously just before he came off, he cut inside and hit the crossbar. Um, but I think he's a real good kid as well, real good character, and he wants to continue to learn and develop as a player. And that's that's the type of caliber of player we want at the club. You know, character, um, energetic, and and, and um, you know, talent as well. And we've got Whitby away on Tuesday, so obviously <coughs> we need our squad. Um, uh, is Gabriel likely to be back for that? I think he said he'd done his hip or something. So yeah, I, th I think he'll be all right. I yeah. think obviously it's quite a cold day today, so sometimes when you do get a whack, um, and, I, and we want the players to be honest and hold their hands up as well. Um, and you know, Gabs has played a lot recently, so um, yeah, listen, it's one of them things. I'm sure he'll recover in time.